Hi, it's Barb and Gabby again. Today we have something really special for you. We're a short distance upriver from the cabin, maybe a half mile upstream. We're here with Marty. She has quite a lot of activity here and has agreed to tell us about it. She would prefer to remain off camera, so we'll be showing the area around her yard while we listen to what she has to say. So let's get started. Hi, Marty. Hi, Barb. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Uh, so what I, you've told me about some screams that you've heard here. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, through the winter months, uh, downriver towards your house, um, but on this side, there's been screams. Just okay. heard screams. Um, what was it? It was about 11 o'clock in the evening. Okay. Enough to uh, wake me up, look out the window, no lights, no nothing, and um, never heard it again. Really? So never it just it screamed once? Just the one time. I have no idea what it was, but it was just an unusual time of day. And how loud was it? Loud. Really? Loud enough to wake me up. Really? And, and how did it make you feel when you heard that? Were you frightened? or? Well, yeah. <laughs> A little uh, unnerved? Unnerved for the place in which I reside, yes. It would be pretty unnerving. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You well, not. <laughs> okay, so uh, then you were saying that you heard some uh, bird sounds out here that were unusual. Well, yeah. Everything that I've heard has been within probably, not everything, but the most activity the last, you know, winter uh, that I've noticed. And uh, late in the evening, about an hour after dusk, um, a lot of bird sounds uh, coming off to uh, this wetland that's right next to my home. Okay. Uh, kind of unusual time of night. They normally do not uh, sing at that sort of time of evening. And it was a full-on scene. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, just this last week, uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning, I had a couple of peculiar thrush whistles that were really intense from the woods right across the cabin. Right. And like you said, they don't do that in the middle of the night. No, they do not. And so for me, that was just a, such an oddity. Um, again, I tend to go back to the house because it's something that is not a normal sound Yeah. for this area. Yeah, okay. And, and um, you said something about uh, strange owl sounds? Yes, that too would be downriver along in this wetland. It seems to be a lot of activity going down here. But the owls that usually are screeching within the area do not have the monotones that this was on that evening. Oh, yeah, that, that's exactly how I would describe what I heard down at the cabin that night. It was such a deep, strange monotone. Uh, I feel that they don't go that deep. Yeah, no, this one sounded almost, you know, like a, a James Earl Jones type of who, 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 right. who. Real deep. Yeah, yeah Real deep. really unusual. The sound, you know, of the screeching that I hear is more of like an owl, but it's, you can tell that it's not an owl, because I know what an owl sounds like. Well, and I know we have right more than one type of owl up here, but it's yeah. not a familiar owl sound, and okay. that would be the yelling, screeching that I hear. It's more of an owl tone, but it's... Okay, God, that sounds good. We need the strangest you to get that damn owl you've ever heard? Yes. yes. <laughs> I've heard so many through the years. <laughs> how did how did you feel about the owls? I mean, the, did it did it spook you? Were you frightened? Or? Well, the owls, not so much, you know. Maybe yeah. the sound at first it did, but not for the longevity because sometimes our imagination does play tricks on us. Yes, so yeah. to me, it could have just been an owl. Okay. You know, okay. but I would rather, you know, knowing it, it was just a different sounding owl. So how many times did you hear that? About eight or nine times. Really? Which to me is very unusual. And also that, that for was owls. over the winter? Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, see there's several people around here have told me the same thing and well what we recorded this last week was uh, similar to an owl but very unusual. Very deep. Yeah, very unusual and loud. Much, yes. It carried much farther than your normal well, This is would. about at least, a, it had It had to have been at least an eighth of a mile down the river. Wow. I could tell you that it, it was so far down the river, I couldn't believe I was listening to it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Gives me goosebumps thinking about it. Me too. <laughs> okay, well that's really cool.
so you were talking about hearing some rocks clacking out here. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, dusk here about a month, month and a half ago, came outside and um, was doing some stuff by the woodshed. And I heard uh, it's what sounded like two rocks clicking together, um, which would be in the area that we're all in right now. Um, it did it once, and then it did it a second time. And uh, I never again came in to investigate uh, because one, it was such an odd sound and very distinctive that it was rocks clicking. Like someone had two stones in their hands and clicked them together. And then it was like they were clicking again to something else or that it was there, but it was out in this area. So uh, you said something about you shined a light out here and it stopped? Yes, because I had my headlamp on also, and, and then it, I didn't hear anything from that point. Walked back into the house, uh, and never walked over in that area to even investigate because of that... Um, unsettled feeling? Yes, the unsettled feeling of hearing something that you're not sure of what the sounds are. Wow. Wow. Um, That's pretty cool. So you think when you shined a light in this direction, it became aware of you and stopped what it was doing? Possibility. Okay. Good possibility. Uh, just because uh, time of night, I'm no, no one's out here anyways. Yeah, it's, it's kind of quiet. an odd time for yeah. me to be outside. Yeah. You know, so um, okay. the sounds, like I said, were pretty distinctive, uh, which, like I said, were out here, but very clear. Wow. Very clear. Click, 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 click. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, to a certain degree, Barbie yeah. is pretty cool, but there's that other part that, of not knowing if it, what it is. And if or it's what making it is. you nervous. Makes me nervous. Yeah. I don't do a lot of traveling through the woods anymore by myself <laughs> because of it. I uh, usually travel with dog and um, pepper spray, of course. Yeah. Um, ventured out most of my life up here and ceased to do it. So how long have you been here? I've been here for oh, just about 24 years wow. in January. So you're pretty well aware of what goes on in these woods. Yes. Uh, of course, through you and um, in your experiences, knowledge, obviously, of what's going on in the area, uh, you keep us all kind of updated, and then again, we talk to you about our stories. Well, I, I really our appreciate things that you sharing. We, that we don't know. That's why I'm doing this. It's well, I really appreciate it. It's not in the ordinary. Well, I think there's probably a lot of people out there who have these kind of experiences and they don't know what it is, so they never make any connection and it just kind of gets written off. Right. I believe so also. I, I firmly believe that, you know, there is the possibility of Bigfoot being in this area because of all the remoteness. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So do you have any opinions or ideas or anything you'd like to share with us? Well, like I said... You know, you have to think outside your box, you know. It would be really vain to think that we could be the only ones here. I think so, I think so too. You yeah. know, um, and if they are there, you know, um, I don't believe they're there with the intent of harm. No, I don't think so either. I you think know. they just want to live out their lives. And I, I do also. I think you maybe know. the young ones are curious about us. Well, of course, if there was young ones, wouldn't you be? Yeah, I you think know, I would. Because <laughs> children are always curious. Yeah. Yep. But I thank you also for taking the time to... Come and talk to me. Oh, I've told you enough stories at the <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> and I really do appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Marty. You're this very welcome, This has been a lot Barb. of fun. And uh, keep us posted if anything else happens. I will. Okay. I will keep in touch. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. And have a great day. You too. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
where Marty tells us she's heard the strange owls and bird sounds and the rocks clacking. So I think this is one of the areas that they use to get upriver to hunt the elk. Okay, so I wanted to share this with you. We have these trees right here that have been pushed together in the shape of an X. See these? Now this is just right across the river here from that log where the tracks came down and crossed the river and went out into the forest. Now this looks to me like a marker and it's pretty new because uh, Marty says she's never seen it before and I just walked through here a few weeks ago and it wasn't here then so I think this is really interesting I think this may be part of a path that's regularly used for the Bigfoots to cross the river and get out here into the grounds where the elk are at night and do their hunting so we are out here in the woods on Marty's side of the river and we're going to take a look around and see if there's anything unusual out here. We've got some trees that are down. We've got some that are leaning, a few that are bent. All right, there's a good bent one. Okay, let's walk back here down this uh, elk trail. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Look at the way they're all tucked right in there. That is bizarre. That is really strange. These are good sized trees and they are just wedged right in there. Very interesting. Wow, and then there's another one right here that's been broken. And then leaning here, a little one. That is just so strange. So there's actually three trees tucked into there. Very interesting. Let's see what else is out here. Yeah, this is getting pretty swampy out here. This looks like perfect Bigfoot habitat, wouldn't you say? Pretty swampy through here. Okay, well, that might just wrap it up for today, so thanks for watching. Bye.